Hello everybody and welcome to another OJCS Storytime. Today we're going to read a book in honor of Chinese New Year, which is happening on February 10th. This book is going to help us to learn a little bit about some of the traditions in uh, Chinese New Year celebration. It's called A New Year's Reunion and it's by Yuli Kuang and Zhu Chen Lang. Papa builds big houses in faraway places. He comes home only once each year during Chinese New Year. Today, Mama and I wake up really early because... Papa is coming home. I watch him from a distance, not daring to get close. Papa comes over and sweeps me up in his arms, prickling my face with his beard. Mama, I cry in alarm. Look what I've got for you. Papa rummages in his big suitcase and takes out. Ooh, what a pretty hat. Mama has a new padded coat too. Let's go and get me a haircut. Then everything will go smoothly in the coming year, Papa says to me after lunch. I sit on a chair waiting. The Papa in the mirror is getting more like Papa the way he used to be. Later, it's time to make sticky rice balls. Papa buries a coin in one of the balls and says, whoever finds the ball with the coin will have good luck. Pop, 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 bang, bang, bang. We hear firecrackers outside all night. I lie between Ma Papa and Mama and fall asleep drowsily, hearing them whispering, whispering. Early the next morning, Mama serves up piping hot sticky rice balls, and Papa feeds them to me with a spoon. Suddenly, I bite on something hard. The fortune coin! It's the fortune coin, I shout. Good for you, Mao Mao. Quick, put it away in your pocket so the good luck won't escape. Papa is more excited than I am. Mama helps me into a brand new jacket. We're going New Year visiting. On the way, I meet my friend Dachan. Mao Mao, where are you going? I'm out for New Year visits with my papa. Me too, look, I got a big red envelope. Well, how about this? I take the coin out of my pocket. I have a fortune coin. My papa buried it in a sticky rice ball and I found it. On the second day of New Year's, the sky is gloomy and it looks as if it's going to snow. Papa gets busy fixing the windows, painting the door, and changing the light bulbs, and the whole house brightens up. Come on, let's fix the roof, Papa says with a wink. Excellent. Mama never allows me up there alone. Hey, I can see Dachin's roof. Listen, what's that sound over there, I say? Oh, it's the dragon dance on Main Street. Papa straightens up and looks into the distance. Where is it? Where is it? I stand on tiptoe, stretching up as far as I can. Papa puts me on his shoulders. Now can you see it, he asks? Yes, I can. They're coming. On the third day of New Year's, it snows really hard. When it finally stops, Dachan and the other children come and get me to play. We build a huge snowman in the courtyard and have a snowball fight. I 
I don't go home till it's getting dark. I feel inside my pocket and I can't find the coin. My fortune coin is gone. I rush out of the, to the courtyard, but it's all covered in snow. Where is my fortune coin? Don't cry, sweetie. I'll give you another one. Look, it's exactly the same. Papa scoops another coin out of his pocket. I don't want that one. I want the other one, I bawl. In the evening, I creep into bed miserable. But as I take off my jacket, clink, something falls to the floor. It's the coin, my fortune coin. Papa, come quick, come and see. I haven't lost a fortune coin. It's been with me all the time. That night, I sleep very soundly. When I get up the next morning, I see Mama helping Papa pack. He is leaving today. Soon, Papa's packing is done. He crouches down and gives me a big hug, whispering in my ear, Next time I'm back, I'll bring you a doll, okay? No, Papa, I shake my head hard. I want to give you something. I put the coin all warm from being held in my hand for so long in Papa's palm and say, here, take this. Next time you're back, we can bury it in the sticky rice ball again. Daddy is very quiet. He nods and hugs me tight. Beautiful, it's such a beautiful story. And we learn a lot about the traditions involved in celebrating Chinese year, the Chinese New Year. And uh, this time it's going to be the Year of the Dragon. So a great opportunity to read some dragon books too, which I know all of our students love. So I hope you enjoy this story and happy Chinese New Year to all who celebrate. Bye.